Hi, this is Jim Hodges, Principal Analyst at Heavy Reading, and I'm in Barcelona this week, and I'm meeting today with uh, CEO and co-founder of Netronome, Neil Vignon. Neil, welcome. Thank you, Jim. So, Neil, there's a lot of discussion here about NFEI in terms of, you know, we're moving towards the commercialization phase, you know, we have to be able to scale it, we have to be able to handle, you know, VM mobility. So I'm just wondering, um, one of the areas you're focusing on is SmartNIC. I'm just wondering, from your perspective, what are you seeing in the show today that's kind of driving smart, SmartNIC adoption? So the critical first and foremost issue, Jim, I think is to do with the fact that it potentially simplifies NFVI deployments. Right. I ascribe some of the slowness in deployment of NFVI solutions today um, due to complexity. Just a simple question of complexity, um, the ability to integrate with different mechanisms and, and right. methods. And then you mentioned mobility. Mobility of virtual machines and VNFs within the infrastructure. Right. And historically, if we look at the cloud as an example, um, is absolutely crucial to the efficient deployment uh, and utilization of resources, but also very importantly for simplicity of, of management, right. which drives a lot of your OPEX costs right. um, in this regard. So SmartNix is the ability to solve many of those problems. Yeah, and I agree. I mean, if you think about what I think was different in the telecom context is, you know, SRLV and things that some of these approach for managing virtual machines have been around for a while. But now with the with the sort of the telecom VMs, they're, they're sort of more sensitive in terms of latency. So there's there's a lot more sort of discussion around how do I manage mobility with those. You know, not in terms of the context of moving devices, but just virtual machines to have that VM. And we're moving to more and more distributed architecture. So I think I think you know virtual mobility or VM mobility is even yep. really more more important from a telecom perspective. It's important in any context, but in a telecom context, yep. it's pretty key. And and I think you're absolutely hitting the nail on the head there in terms of the requirements of NFV or VNFs in the right. telco context, it's, it's not the same as doing a general database query or web services right. um, in a standard cloud environment. Right. There's packet size issues, there's all of these different aspects. And this has right. driven people to using SRIOV. Right. Um, SRIOV, um, to a large extent as you may know, and understand is that it does not support VM migration. Right. Because the hardware switching, which is part of that, is decoupled from the hypervisor infrastructure. Right. And that leads to a lot of problems. In addition to that, you have a, a key issue that the, the drivers have to be inside the guest OSs. Right. So if you imagine that you have these virtual machine containers right. with VNFs right. inside them, and these come from some other vendor. Um, now you have to make sure that the drivers are compatible and between the all drivers. of these. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a nightmare, right. to put it bluntly. Right. It's not a solved problem, and um, therein lies some of the key issues. Right. Um, even in the DPDK environment, that does allow you to do some more of the migration. There's a variety of other performance issues that then arise right. from that again. So, so, so you're dealing with some of these problems through, I guess, Express and Vert.io, correct? That is absolutely correct. Express Vert.io, or XVIO as we call it from a proprietary branding perspective. Um, Vert.io is a technology right. which is in every Linux instance that is shipped anywhere as such. Now what we do is, in a, because we are a smart NIC, we can actually get the data into the Vert.io interfaces at the same performance levels as SRIOV. The only point is full mobility is, is, right. is maintained, and secondly, performance is the same as right. SRIOV. Right. So there's, there's no downside, if I could put it that way. Right. And you can only do this with a smart deck. So from your perspective, your customers get obviously scalability and VM mobility, but there must be also sort of interesting use cases they can apply that as well. Are there other use cases they can apply in terms of how they use your technology? Yeah, so 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 obviously for if we're looking at XVIO specifically, right. um, the I guess the primary one is the simplicity of mobility. Right. The fact that you your your OPEX costs can be a lot lower okay. because you can actually it's easier to manage. It's the same thing everywhere. Right. You don't have all these balkanization of the 
the applications. This VNF needs this. Right. That VNF needs that. Okay. Um, and now with a smart link, you can have the the same everywhere. Okay. And you can actually change it on a, on a because of software definedness. So you can define different loads onto the smart link, which allows you to address different parts of right. the market. Okay. And one of the things I'm seeing here as an industry, I think. We're just starting to come to terms of security in terms of in a telecom context or a, you know, a CSP cloud context. So, um, kind of what sort of what sort of drivers or what sort of uh, change do you see with security from a from a VM mobility or from a, just a management of of those VMs? I think that's an absolutely great question, Jim. And one of the most important parts of that we see here in the security segment uh, or in security within this. NVI infrastructure right, yeah. is that security at the at the perimeter right. is as dead as a doornail. Um, the performance is just not there. Trying to pass everything through a single point and then not having security within that infrastructure right, right. is not the way things are going to go in the future. Right. So it has to be distributed. Right. So the notion of so-called micro segmentation um, and built-in firewalls at all points within this right. infrastructure um, is very important. And yeah. we support that with our software-based smart NICs. Yeah, and I agree with um, that. I agree with that, because when you think about it, we're seeing a lot of distribution of intelligence to the edge. And to do that, you obviously have to manage the VMs to, to manage that instance, you know, the, the software gets, gets activated or spun up. You have to manage the life cycle, but you also have to manage the mobility when that application moves from one area to the other. That's, I, I did fail to mention that, yeah. but you once again, you're hitting the nail on the head the yeah. second time around, <laughs> Jim. Uh, not that that ha doesn't happen all yeah. the time, yeah. but the, the critical point there is, is that policy, that security right. policy has to migrate with the particular application. And if that's sitting on some other box somewhere exactly. else, yeah. um, that becomes a much more difficult right. and, and increases your cost right. of operations increases your cost of actual deployment okay. of that. So having it as a core part of the same VM and the same mobility models um, right. just makes it much easier. Okay, what about, maybe one last question, what about IOT, does that, is that you know, obviously IOT is a lot of, about a lot of devices in terms of not necessarily traffic load, but a lot of sessions, how does that, does that affect VM mobility as well? So, 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 so in terms of, if we're thinking about IOT, as a traffic class right. which is coming in and we're thinking about the number of, of connections. So right. typically with a lot of IoT solutions, you have a very low data rate, right. um, but gazillions of connections. Right. Um, that typically creates a, a load on your standard server. Right. Once again, if you're offloading that into a smart NIC right. that allows for the aggregation right. and the handling of that very large number of connections right. Right. Uh, in a better way. Yeah, so more efficient um, compute resources. So more efficient, efficient yeah. compute yeah. resource yeah. Okay. to good. address that. Good, well good discussion. Thanks. Thank Jim. you very much.